Bayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Bayang magiliw, kewas ng sinahalan, alam ng puso, sa titik mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang, huyag ka ng magiting, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa nagatak tutok sa simoy at sa langit mong pangraw. in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, surround us who are graduating with your grace. Bless us with the hope that we may move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help us use our knowledge, skills, and insights that we gain through our education to use for the good of all humankind. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life even though we may face some difficulties and challenges. As it commence in our lives, may we grow ever more stronger and wise. All of this we ask in the name of Jesus, your beloved Son. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Dear graduates, how do I start my message in times like this? Congratulations, I think, is the most upward these days. Congratulations that in spite of the new methodology, the online studies, You've all proven that you are all ready for it and weather everything with flying colors. Number two, congratulations that in spite of all the new adjustments, you all adapted to it like it's the normal thing to do. Last but not the least, congratulations that in spite of all the difficulties, you pass all odds with flying colors. Let us thank the Lord for this. Well, Belmaris School, you might not have noticed, have added computer subject to its curriculum. With DepEd approval, of course, being offered from nursery onward. And this program started from the very first day of the Belmaris School operation. Mrs. Lucila V. Mangubat, our school founder, being an educator herself, so that our world is beginning to be highly technical. And she thought that our student must not be left behind. So she added computer to the Belmaris program so that our students will be ready to face the ever fast changing world. Let us now congratulate ourselves for being so ready to face this highly technical world. Again, Congratulations, graduates. You are now all confidently ready going to the next level of your studies. Congratulations for enduring all odds and passing your studies, lady, for the next level. Congratulations, parents, 
or patiently guiding your students, your children in their online studies. My biggest congratulations goes to the teachers for going out of their way to make online education enjoyable and viable. Congratulations and good day all. Thank you. Mr. Gabriel V. Manguba, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Bell Maris School, may I present to you the candidates for graduation in Grade 6 who have completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education this academic year 2020-2021. The candidates are composed of 24 boys and 24 girls. By the power vested in me as the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Velmaris School and upon the recommendation of our school principal, Dr. Cecilia A. Navarro, that you have satisfactorily complied with the requirements as prescribed by the Department of Education, I now confirm you elementary graduates for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations.
congratulations to our young graduates. I commend you all for having surmounted another level of education towards your goal despite these most difficult and challenging circumstances. We in Velmaris School, the administration and officials, together with the faculty and staff, will continue to provide you with the education you need and will not let anything hinder and disrupt the continuity of your learning as we all know that learning knows no boundaries. For our part as well as yours, as responsible and literate human beings, we should understand the seriousness of the present situation and should contribute even in our smallest way to abate, if not totally eliminate, this deadly virus from spreading. We should be mindful of the health and safety protocols at all times. Our responsibility is not only to ourselves, but also to our family and community as well. If we can all be united and in one, with the help of our prayers, strong faith, and a strong will to survive, to save our earth and the human race, we will overcome. Let us all be safe and good luck to us all. Continue your dreams and Godspeed. Our distinguished guests, school administrators headed by Dr. Maya V. Angeles, our school directress, Dr. Cecilia A. Navarro, our school principal, faculty, parents, and fellow graduates, thank you for this opportunity to speak to all of you today. It has been a challenging year for all of us, given the circumstances that got our way. It seemed impossible to believe that we'll be in high school the next time we step into a classroom. But here we are, celebrating this moment with our family and friends. Before I begin, I'd like to thank my family for their love and support and for always being there for me. To my Lola, Machi, thank you for being my biggest fan. I appreciate all the love and wisdom you have imparted to me. To my mom, who has been there since day one, the one who is always at the front seat and for believing in me always, thank you. I could have not done it without you. To my dad, I know that you tried your best to be here today, but I know that even if we're miles apart, you are always there, cheering me on. Thank you for all your sacrifices, dad. I hope I made you proud. Please accept my deepest gratitude for the greatest gift you have given me, a wonderful life and the best education one can have. My heartfelt gratitude goes to my dear teachers who helped me believe in myself and encouraged me to do better than before. Thank you for always having faith in me. Even though sometimes I am annoying and makulit, you have been patient with me. All of you have become the greatest influences in my school life. My love for learning grew stronger because of you. Thank you for being part of my journey. Thank you also to our school administration for you have found ways for us to continue our studies with the situation we're currently facing. To my classmates, thank you for the memories. Because of you, I realized that I can be accountable for anything other than myself. I realized my potential to become a good leader because you allowed me to lead and help you. Even if we part ways in the future, please know that I can still be your friend. All of us have stepped out of our comfort zone and have been pushed into a completely new environment. We knew that things would be different and we strive to adapt to the new normal. We are faced daily to new challenges and we made the impossible possible. Over time, we progressed as individuals. We become better and responsible students and we helped our teachers and Belmar School to become a more unified community. All of us have mixed feelings as we reach another milestone in our lives. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay not to know what's coming next. You can always choose how to live your life the way you want it to be. Because come tomorrow, you can do a little more that makes a change 
or a little less that makes a difference. The choice is always ours. Today, we embrace our fears, but tomorrow, you can be excited of what lies ahead. Today, be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Tomorrow, be the best you are meant to be. Today, we celebrate this day. We are victorious. We are graduates. And we will forever thank the Lord God for this moment that we are blessed with. I am Marcus Angelo R. Carpio, proud of Marion, graduate of Class 2020-2021.
we will strengthen thy principles. Lead